dream 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 dreams transform into thoughts and thoughts into actions so were the dreams of a young boy from this house transform him into a towering personality in the international community of shockwave research he defied the philosophy of race for marks a just fair grade in puc didn't deter him to be stands now as this is professor k p j reddy resident of international shockwave institute nagoya japan gauri bidanur a small town in karnataka that shares border with andhra pradesh a 15 km ride into the countryside amidst lush green farmlands and fresh air leads us to a village kalidevapura birthplace of professor k p j reddy Interestingly, this village has a library too. Kalidevapura is no exception like any other village in this country, having a basic amenities like primary school, where initial education of Professor Reddy has taken place. Subsequently, Professor Reddy has finished his SSLC from Municipal High School, Gauri Bidanur, in 1969. Seeds were sown deep and firm. at the reputed AES National College Gauri Bidanur where he completed his PUC Professor Reddy graduated in science from Sri Mahadeshwara Degree College Kollegala in 1973 Further post graduation in physics from University of Mysore in 1975 He skilled up obtaining his PhD from Birla Institute of Technology Mesra in laser technology in the year 1981 Professor Reddy joined Indian Institute of Science as senior scientific officer in the Department of Aerospace Engineering in the year 1983. High Enthalpy Aerodynamics Lab is a place where his journey into the world of shockwaves has started in association with Professor Anand Reddy. Days and days of hypersonic and shockwave research, instruments like shock tunnels were hard to come by, but that didn't deter our scientists. In those early days, local small-scale manufacturers stepped in to lend the scientists a hand. In some cases, they even trawled through junkyards to look for scrap materials to build their instruments. The result, a state-of-the-art laboratory that attracts the best minds, one of the few of its kind, not just in India or Asia, but in the world. This lab houses some of the leading Indian scientists in shockwave research and hypersonic technologies. Laboratory for Hypersonic and Shockwave Research was inaugurated in the month of January 2011 which was visited by eminent personalities like Dr. VK Saraswat B then Director General DRDO Scientific Advisor to Raksha Mantri Over the years LHSR under his leadership got bigger and better quantitatively and qualitatively in performing experimental research establishing LHSR was a great move when bringing all the collaborators in shockwave research in IISC under one roof collaborative research work with other universities and national research laboratories always took a prime spot in the platter thus paving the path for the formation of center of excellence in hypersonics in november 2011 today it gives me immense pleasure in, in inaugurating the center of excellence in bringing together the the strength of brahmos and the indians of science with a mission to promote development of world class system and technology which is a significant step towards the national development i met professor reddy in kakuda then our interaction started then i found one very enthusiastic Shockwave researcher leading India. He is going to make a forest of shockwave research in India. Then he planted many trees on Indian soil. Then now this shockwave research tree spread out very widely on Indian soil. Then he established domestic shockwave society, and also he became a leader of international shockwave society.
over the years of diverse research in shock waves and far spread collaborations professor reddy has his quiver full of specialization areas at his disposal thus becoming a lifetime member of various professional societies few of which himself being the founder member in this perennial journey at iisc professor reddy has guided about 40 plus research students authored 130 plus publications in international journals 200 plus publications in international conferences served as editor in chief for the reputed international journal in hypersonics co-authored a book on shockwaves has eight patents under his name Professor KPJ Reddy has been decorated with number of awards and honors here are just a few of them and in you is successful only when he can market his inventions entrepreneurship was no missing cue at professor reddy's disposal resulting is superwave technology private limited that has two verticals shifty education systems and wave fact technology private limited which brings shockwave research closer to cilian applications never to forget from where we come this attitude reflects in one's social outlook Dr Reddy is instrumental in building Dr Hachin Science Center in Hulunga's land of 200 acres near Gauri Bidnur. He has brought many internationally reputed professors uh, from uh, Princeton, MIT, Oxford and many other such places to our science center where they used to interact with the children uh, from our villages. I think there's three things particularly I'd like to recall about uh, Professor Reddy. First of all, as a, an administrator and a manager, because the amount of uh, evolution of his facilities is quite amazing. Secondly, there are many, many very important uh, contributions that he has made over the years, and they've grown in size and magnitude and impact over the years. And the third thing is his interest in students and the way he has introduced science into school children. and is growing their interest in science and we would certainly congratulate him on that. I wish Professor Reddy will continue this very enthusiastic attitude looking at young scientists in India. Hello Professor Reddy, congratulations on your retirement. I appreciate your great achievements and uh, international contributions to shockwave research and uh, research communities. Congratulations, you have made a great contribution to Shockwave Society, both Indian and global. And uh, your leadership in this com uh, community is based on personal friendship. So you are a good friend uh, uh, of me and as well as of everyone. Congratulations again. Thank you. Namaste. Felicitations from Texas. I have known Professor Reddy for about 20 years. I consider Professor Reddy to be my elder brother who has provided me with a lot of encouragement. Undoubtedly, India has great scientists in fluid mechanics, but it goes without saying that KP acted as a catalyst to bring these various elements of government, industry and ac academia. I wish him well in his future endeavors and I know that he will be even more productive in his retirement. Happy retirement, KP. Useful thing he's done, as far as our collaboration goes, is we've had a productive exchange of students and postdocs. They've worked on facilities, they've worked on instrumentation. And that has been a very inspiring thing to work with Professor Reddy in these activities. As so I wish you the best of luck in your retirement and hope we're able to keep in contact. 
Congratulations. I first met Professor Reddy in 1994 when he came to Brisbane to attend the fourth workshop on shock tube technology. Professor Reddy had been invited to attend the workshop by Ray Stalker and we were all very interested to hear about his ambitious plans to build a free piston shock tunnel at Bangalore at the IISC. I wish Professor Reddy and the IISC team all the best for the future. According to Professor, uh, our science centre should not be like any other science centres where simply we have some exhibits, children come and they just uh, see that exhibits, read some uh, literature behind that exhibits and pass on. He was having a very unique uh, idea and a place here should be such that the children learn science by experiencing it. He has coined the word like experience science centre. His vision is to say see that this science centre becomes a, a global standard and also to produce at least one Nobel Prize in the next 15 years. Wish you a happy retired life. For uh, inspiring, visionary and the most human person that I've ever met. The moments that I had with you, both professionally and personally, I will cherish to the end of my life. Uh, especially uh, the talk that we had uh, during the trip between ADA and IASC is the most memorable one. You have explained about uh, how our lab came into existence. I wish all the best for your future.